So I made a dumb mistake on my 47RH build and thankfully I figured it out before I put it in the truck. But as I was installing the front servo, I didn't realize that the stock spring actually goes in there with the aftermarket spring. So I need to pull the pan off. I think I can potentially get in there without having to pull the pump and redo the band and everything. I got this magnet here and I'm going to jam it on the strut to try and hold it in place so that way I don't have to take the valve body off but I've never tried this before so we'll see if it works and then I'm just going to pull the rod out pull the lever and then add that spring to this mm -hmm. oh that works that is so sick and there we go I got the strut just levitating right there so I'm not gonna have to reset the band or pull the valve body off or any of that nonsense as long as I don't move it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I installed it and use these feeler gauges to bridge the gap across the snap ring groove and then that'll guide it out for me <clears throat> If you saw my other video on the build, you already know that uh, this is a Garand pan that's on my transmission and the torque spec that they give for these is uh, 10 foot pounds and it's done in a star pattern obviously. But uh, I don't know what the torque spec is for the regular pan so definitely do your own research there.